Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm going to show you three different ways on how I style my short pixie cut. I've had my hair short like this for about five weeks now, and I am due for a trim, but I absolutely love having short hair. It makes my life so much easier. I feel super pretty in it. So if you want to see the three ways I like to style my short hair, go ahead and keep on watching. All right, I'm going to show you my first hairstyle that I do. Today was a wash day, so I did just wash my hair. I use the Briogeo Be Gentle, Be Kind, the Apple Shampoo. And for my conditioner, I use the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Conditioner. I do also like this conditioner, but this is just what I have right now. I love Briogeo Shampoo and Conditioner. I use these when I have long hair. So now with my short hair, I just use less product and it works perfectly for me. And then I did just quickly brush my hair in the shower. That takes like two seconds. And now my hair is still pretty damp. I just use like a microfiber towel and just kind of zhuzhed it around. Ever since I cut my hair off, I realized I've been buying more hair products to try different hairstyles. So it's like I have more products than I did when I had long hair. Kind of funny. So for today's style, which is my favorite style that I do, I should tell you that, I use the Whey Volume Spray. And then I use a curl cream and a curl gel because I do have a slightly wavy hair. It's definitely less curly now that it's shorter, but I use the Amica one. So like I said, my hair is still pretty wet and I'm gonna take the Volume Spray and just kind of spray that throughout. I also love the smell of whey products. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. And a little more on the front right there. And then I'm gonna take my curl gel. I also do really like the Not Your Mother's curl gel and cream if you want a drugstore option. I take like that much. And I just run that throughout my hair. Just to get it all in there, nice and hydrated. And now I'm gonna take the gel. I have like that much product. And this is when we're gonna squish. So I don't really have much hair to squish, but I do squish what I can. And most of my longer hair is right here on the top. And you can hear that like, that gross squishy noise is what you want if you have curly or wavy hair. Now, when I had long hair, I used to never blow dry. I would always air dry it because it would just take so freaking long to blow dry. But now when I have short hair, I do diffuse it just a little bit. So this is the hair dryer that I have. It's by Bioionic. It's the hair dryer and the diffuser here. Do I need a Dyson? Now that I blow dry my hair, I'm like, should I buy a Dyson? I don't know. I'm gonna put the blow dryer on high with medium heat and I'm just going to toss my hair to one side, blow dry it for like a minute and a half, flip to the other side, do that, and then flip it forward and do that. This takes me like five minutes total. It's super quick. And I should mention, I don't really worry about the back of my hair because that hair's shorter, so it kind of just does what it wants to do. So I'm really focusing on this whole like, top piece right here. All right, so that was just about like three minutes of blow drying. My hair is still pretty damp, but I just want to like kind of help the curls a little bit. Now I want my hair to dry curly, but back out of my face. So I'm going to take these little clips. Um, I don't know what these are called. They're just like little flat clips like this. And I take about like seven of them. So I like to part my hair a little bit to the side. So around there. Okay, so I'm going to twist this hair. And kind of push it forward to give it some volume. Take my clip oops, and just clip it in place. So I have less hair on this side of my head, so this only takes like a couple pins. So I'm taking some hair, twisting it, push it up to give some volume, and then I'm gonna work on this back piece. I kind of like my back hair to like go this way almost, and so this honestly looks different every single time I do it. Taking some hair, twisting, pushing it forward, clip. See how it's like up a little bit? And this is where I have hair problems. It's funny because when my hair was longer, like this part of my head is just thicker. And so I've always had issues with this side of my hair. Twist that back, push it. So I just like to blow dry it first to get some of the moisture out of it. 
and then I let it air dry like this. And like I said, I really don't touch the back of my head. The back of my head is not my business, I don't care. Um, and these kind of little sideburns just chill there. Because I feel like my face and my hair looks best when it's just like out of my face. So that's why I like to do it this way. And again, I'm just showing you how I like to do my hair with my hair texture. Okay, so that is that for the clips. And now I just let my hair air dry and I go about my day. So like right now I'm about to go film a makeup tutorial. So I'm going to do that. Go run a couple errands, go to the post office go get a pumpkin spice latte. So I'm just gonna let this air dry for the next couple hours or so, and then I will show you what I do next. Okay, I just got done filming a makeup video, so I look 30 times different than I did earlier. Like, look at my makeup. I use a new Natasha Denona collection today. I'm obsessed. Anyways, here is my hair. It's been air drying for about four hours now, and you can tell, like, it's crunchy, which is what I want. So now I'm just gonna take out all the clips that are in my hair. Look at this highlighter. So see how my hair like stayed in place? Oh, missed one, there we go. <laughs> I also hate how like straight this hair got. Like I didn't twist this piece, so this ended up really straight and it looks really weird, so I'll fix that later. But we're working on this part right now. I'm gonna take a hair oil. This one is by Playa and I'm going to scrunch out my curls. So I just take that in there, rub it. I'm gonna pull those curls forward and kind of scrunch them out. Sorry if you couldn't see that. I can actually still feel a little bit dampness in my hair, but that's probably just because it was like, you know, twisted into place. All right, see, so look how soft my hair looks now. And now most days I can typically leave it like this, um, or I can really perfect it if I want to. In this case, I am gonna perfect it since I'm showing you guys what I do. So I'm going to take this beach waver, turn it on really quick. This is, I think it's three quarters of an inch, and it has a little clamp right here. And what's cool about Beach Waver is that it twists itself. So when you have super short hair like this, it's hard to like wrap the hair around without like burning off your fingers. So that's why I like to use this Beach Waver. They do also make a one inch version of this if you have longer hair. It warms up really fast. And I'm gonna take this short piece that's bugging the heck out of me right here. And you just clamp that in and I'm gonna curl it away from my face. See how much easier that is than like trying to like do it yourself, especially with short hair. Kind of undo it a little bit, pull that curl out. There, that already looks better. Um, maybe I'll have to fix this side. This side kind of had a nice little wave to it, I like that. These pieces back here are so long, I can't wait for my haircut next week. I just kind of curl a couple pieces that are kind of longer and will fit into this curling iron. What's nice about this is that it has a home button, so it twirls back to where it like, starts. And it kind of takes a second to get used to the direction of which arrow to click to twirl it, um, but either way works. Sometimes I will curl my hair in both directions if I want that like kind of extra messy look but I'm really only curling a few pieces and then I like help turn that curl to really like enforce it. The top of my head, I like how this looks. These are sticking up a little bit. Not too mad about that. I really like how this front piece looks right here. So I'm actually pretty happy with that. So I'm just gonna fix those couple pieces, turn this off. So when I had longer hair, I never used hairspray. So this was like my first hairspray I bought in years. This is the Bumble and Bumble Spray Day Mode. It's a flexible hold hairspray. And this really helps with my short hair. I just kind of do it all over. I don't really know how much to do. I'm still, I'm new to hairspray. And that is it for this first hairstyle. Like I said, this is my favorite way to wear my hair. I feel the prettiest this way because I have like the soft curls in it. It looks pretty natural too. And I like that my hair is out of my face. I did want to show you guys, I bought these like gold little hair clips that are super cute and they all have like a different design. Um, and they also have some like bobby pins in there because like brown bobby pins are boring, right? So like sometimes if this hair just isn't really doing what I want, I just kind of retwist it and hold it in place with one of these cute pins. I got these off Amazon and I will link it for you. Like look how cute, it holds it in place, I like it. I actually might be wearing one of these for my friend's wedding in a few weeks to kind of keep my hair in place, but I like that. Oh, let me show you the back of my hair. Mm -hmm. 
like I said, I don't care what the back of my hair looks like. It needs to be a little bit shorter anyway, so it's gonna have some wave to it. So let me see what it looks like right now. Yeah, I like how you can see like my little waves back here. Like I said, hi, cute. So that is it for this hairstyle. Like I said, this is my favorite one to wear. I'm not sure how it would work if you have like straight hair, but try it because twisting your hair and letting it air dry like that, it might work for you. So here is day one of my hair. Good morning, we are on hair day number two. So I already showered, I did my makeup, and I don't wash my hair or get my hair wet every day because I just simply don't need to. So this is what my bed head looks like after I've kind of done a little morning routine. I haven't touched my hair at all. And it honestly looks decent. Like I would be okay going out in public like this, but I do want to touch it up just a little bit. Like I still have this really nice curl right here going on. I got a curl right here from yesterday. So I probably won't touch that. I just need to like smooth things out really. So I did just turn on my beach waver again. I'm gonna let that get a little warmed up and I'm gonna take the IGK Beach Club Volumizing Texture Spray. And I'm just going to spray a little bit of this throughout. I used to love this product when I had long hair as well. Like if you need texture, this is a good spray. So just to give like a little bit of life back in here. I'm also gonna take my Way Matte Pomade. I'm still really new to using pomade, so I don't really know exactly what I'm doing, but I'm taking some of that and I'm gonna pull down like my sideburns and kind of this back part of my hair to kind of smooth this out and down. And now I'm just gonna take my beach waver and kind of fix, like this piece right here is pretty straight. I would like it to be more curled. Curl that in. It's kind of funny, because when I got my hair cut short, um, one of my reasons was that I hated styling my long hair. And people were like, well, you still have to style your short hair. And I'm like, yeah, I do. But it literally takes me five minutes. Like. <laughs> You know how long it takes to style long hair? Freaking forever. So I love this. I love how easy short hair is. I'm so glad I chopped my hair off. Add something here. Click my home button. So easy. I did also buy this like tiny curling iron from Amazon. I don't even know how big this is, but it's too small and it kind of gives me like really crimped looking curls, which is not the look that I'm going for. Cute. So I really find that this beach waver just works perfectly. After I styled my hair yesterday and I was kind of re-watching the clips that I did, I was like, oh my gosh, I really need my hair cut because I'm getting it cut next week, which will be five weeks since I cut my hair initially to this length. So I feel like four weeks is gonna be when I'll go get my trims done. Um, so again, I'm gonna finish off with my Bumble and Bumble hairspray. So at this point, there definitely is a lot of product in my hair from yesterday and today. So you'll see what I do tomorrow. But this hairstyle for my day two hair is super easy to touch up. It's really just touching up the waves with my beach waver adding a little bit of texturizing, and that's it. Pretty easy. Do a little 360 for ya. And that is it, so that is my day two hair. Okay, good morning. We are on day three of my hair. Um, I just showered, again, I didn't get it wet or wash it because I don't need to, and I'm looking like I'm in a boy band right now. So we gotta fix this. <laughs> so this is typically my last hair day until I wash my hair again because I'm gonna add even more product in it. So this is like, this is day three, the last day. And today we're going to slick it back because again, I like my hair out of my face. Okay, so I'm gonna start with just getting my hair a little bit wet, but I didn't wanna get it like all the way wet in the shower. I just need like some water in it. Take your brush, we're gonna start to brush back. So at this point, there is a lot of product in my hair from the last two days, and I am gonna add even more. And this is why this is like the last day before I wash my hair again and like repeat these three hairstyles. I'm just brushing it back to like come out any product, 
Start getting it back there. And for my product, I like to steal my boyfriend's American Crew Heavy Hold Pomade. It's so funny that we like share hair products now since we obviously both have short hair. And I'm still new to this pomade as well. So I take some of that. Mm -hmm. Pomades are so weird. And I just start to use my hands and work in that pomade to get my hair to stay back. I like to think of my slicked back days like this as kind of like my messy bun days when I have long hair. You know, I wear a messy bun when I'm too lazy to do my hair. I want it to be super quick. So when I have short hair, this is like the equivalent of a messy bun. You know, it's super quick to do. It's pretty like effortless and it will stay all day. Sometimes I take a little bit more of that curl gel I use the first day. I know it's like a curling gel, but I just kind of use it as like a gel gel. And get this back in here too. This is like one of my boyfriend's favorite hairstyles on me because he always tells me I look like a supermodel with my hair slicked back like this, so I love that. And I know this hairstyle might not be for everyone because it definitely is a little more kind of like masculine looking, but I like it. Okay, just like that. I still have a couple pieces kind of sticking out, but I think it's because I just really need a haircut. Um, here is a little 360. I mean, this is definitely the easiest hairstyle out of the three. You're just pushing all your hair back. So there we go. So I hope that was fun and helpful to see my three different hairstyles. Again, I am still pretty new to having short hair. So if you have any like recommendations or styles that you like to do, I would love to hear them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.